So good news everyone and welcome to another video about what's it like to use a iPad Pro as a uh, drawing tablet instead of a Wacom Cintiq. Is it doable? Well, the reason I'm doing this video is because I've posted a video before about that I'm doing this and just my little experience with it. To use an application called AstroPad and then it mirrors your laptop. We're talking this is only Mac, yeah? Then you're using your MacBook Pro, because I'm a pro. Like a motherfucking pro. As a second screen, and then you can go on using your software that you're used to using, animation software, and it just mirrors it. How does this work? So now that I've worked with it for a couple of weeks now, uh, pretty much, like really used it. I, I, feel, I feel like it's uh, really responsive. The same way I used to use my old Wacom Cintiq, I moved, so I sold my Wacom Cintiq, I moved to a different country. Great pleasure that I welcome you. Congratulations. So I bought new equipment and I didn't want to get stuck with a Wacom Cintiq, those big screens, because they're wonderful, they're really expensive and they feel like outdated technology. This thing is so tiny, it is, it is very portable. And I'm hoping that there'll be more cool software also coming out. So this is Rough Animator. It's easy to use application for animators on an iPad eventually, and you'll be able to do animation. If you're stationary and you just work in your studio and you just work on one place, get awake and you have a lot of money. Get away on Cintiq. The advantage of getting also an iPad is that you can also use an iPad. Little qu quims, not, it's not all roses, people. It's not all sunshine and roses. Little quims. This thing doesn't have an eraser, which annoys me. Uh, it does a double tap thing. It doesn't work in all the applications. It doesn't, some it works amazing. It works amazing on all the applications you're using on your iPad, like native iPad applications. I'm talking about when you're mirroring it, mirroring it with the AstroPad. So little qualms, pencil, dropped it on the floor twice, uh, day after day. And the nib, because I work on a stand up, you see I'm standing up. Whoa, gravity! I like to stand when I work anyway, so. I got, I put the carpet here, because I dropped my pencil twice and it got squished, so I had to replace the nib. The old pencil used to come with an extra nib. That's nice, Apple, thank you. The new one doesn't come with a nib. F you, Apple. So, get, get, get nibs. They come in a set of fours. So I had to get uh, new nibs. Don't drop your pencil. I tried, I bought one of these silicone things uh, to put around my pencil. They work great, they protect it. They don't charge because it works with a magnet. Ties your pencil. Ooh, magic. Anyways, as a tool, as an animation tool, this really works. I really like it. I bought it because I want to be portable, like I've said in the previous video. Go watch the previous video. You can watch this video as well. It's a great video. It's a great video. I hope it's going to be a great video. Point. Using AstroPad and I'm using a USB-C cable because I got the newest MacBook Pro because I'm a pro. Like a motherfucking pro. It feels great. I don't feel a lag. It feels great. It feels like a really nice intuitive workflow. It takes a little getting used to. Beginning I thought the surface was a bit slippery. Somebody suggested getting a uh, surface cover. Uh, you know, get used to working on glass, big deal, you know? If I work on canvas, that's not like working on paper. I have to get used to working on canvas. If you're working with watercolor, sometimes you might use a different texture. Learn to work with different instruments. It works fine. My hands don't get greasy. I don't know, maybe I wash my finger, my hands, I don't know. People are always saying they're using gloves or, I've never had an issue, neither on the Wacom or Wacom. Never had an issue of greasy hands, so. I never use gloves. This is really for someone who wants to go for the iPad and is kind of sick of the Wacom way and wants to try. You get a nice portable device. This is an amazing device. I complained about the pencil. I could say more negative stuff. It's not an ideal world, but neither was the Wacom Cintiq. So there are some advantages. I did need to work in a different room the other day and I just took the setup and just moved to the kitchen and it was great and it worked and I continued drawing. Bottom line is, can you replace an iPad Pro with a Cintiq? Does it, does it, can you work as a professional? Can it replace it as a professional tool for a professional? Like a motherfucking pro. Yes, it can.